What's up guys, it's Crash, and honestly, I haven't been paying a ton of attention to Battlefield, and it's on me. I didn't even realize yesterday that there was an earnings call. As you guys know, traditionally on this channel, I listen to those earnings calls and do a quick summary and give you guys everything you need to know. Well, we're gonna do that, but it's just a little bit later. And honestly, looking at the transcript, this honestly might be for the best, because if you control F, if you pull up everything they said during the call, and you control F, and you search for 2042, that, phrase that number was not mentioned one time in the questions in the prepared remarks nothing now there is the one i mean essentially there was only one question that got into the weeds at all about battlefield uh that was answered by andrew wilson we're definitely going to talk about that react to it and talk about kind of what that could mean um and stuff like that but honestly guys battlefield's in a rough place but i just really enjoy making videos so we're going to keep doing that over on this channel we might have to do some other games and stuff like that but we'll we'll get it we'll keep making videos and thank you guys so much for watching and all your comments down below so let's get right into it at the top of the call or if you excuse me if you look at the press release let's let's talk about the press release just a little bit there's a couple key things in there that i think indirectly relate to battlefield so the first thing is live services and other net bookings were up 17 percent year over year and represent 71 percent of total net bookings in fiscal 22 that is insane live services were a massive part of their portfolio in the last earnings call again 17 percent 71 percent of the revenue that they're making is from live service and you know that's coming from games like fifa and, and apex legends and stuff like that so i don't think although battlefield's live service i mean it's not doing anything right now i don't think ea is going anywhere on the live service 71 percent that's an incredible number so I don't think live service is going anywhere for Battlefield. Um, I just look for them honestly to ramp it up and hopefully they can release a game that's solid enough that they can add live service stuff to uh, that's enjoyable and keeps people coming back and want to stay engaged and play the game. Maybe one day, right? So the other thing that I thought was interesting in the press release was Apex Legends Season 12 sets records for the highest engagement since launch. So Apex Legends is still growing, is still is still climbing, and, and that's pretty crazy for Season 12 uh, to still set a record is pretty wild. So I look for them to take more inspiration from that. Again, we'll talk a little bit more about Vince Zampella and Respawn in that question. And uh, let's just go ahead and get right into that. So essentially the question refers to the last earnings call where Andrew Wilson said they were committed uh, to keeping the franchise going and investing heavily into the future of Battlefield. And uh, he asked, but has the mindset changed in the past few weeks given the lack of resurgence from the last update? Um, Andrew Wilson here, I'm paraphrasing and taking highlights from this from this answer. He says, again, we take the long view here. Uh, it, a really important part of our portfolio for many, many years to come. Uh, they now have, he says, incredible leadership over that team now. They're rethinking the development process from the ground up and really using kind of the Vince Zampella respawn model to get the fun as quickly as possible. Again, taking inspiration from Apex Legends kind of as we expect. They've been doing thousands of updates for the community, working on quality of life and really getting the core game right. And beyond that, once we get to a place where we feel like we're in the right place, with the core experience with the core game then you should expect us to invest and grow beyond where the game is at today so essentially what it's saying is they're committed to getting the game in a playable state i don't know if that's going to help again we're like six months after launch and we're still needing quality of life updates we're not even close to season one uh while other games that released around the same time are already way past season three and four and stuff like that so i mean it's just it's incredibly lacking content as you guys know right now but what it sounds like is they're kind of doing a re set they're rethinking the development process from the ground up and they're going to really rely on the vince zampella respawn model good or bad i don't know honestly in my opinion let's rely on the battlefield model huh let's let's how about instead of like the vince zampella respawn model uh we do the like battlefield three one and four model maybe huh something like that uh would be great in my opinion if you had uh maps and content that was equal to what we had uh from the premium pass and then you could throw your cosmetics for uh, your live service on top of that if you wanted to but give us that amount of content with that kind of battlefield game with uh, new technology updated graphics engines and optimization and there we go it doesn't sound like that's the road they're going to take it's going to be uh, a little bit more vince Zempel and respawn which is going to be pretty Pretty entertaining to see what they actually do come up with with the next battlefield to me this whole thing and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below please um, but what I think about this is it makes me think 
they're going to do the bare minimum to get this game into a more playable state kind of like they did maybe another patch like we had uh in april to get things more playable and then they're going to throw the bare minimum uh for premium passes or excuse me for battle passes and maps and just to get by until the next game i would imagine i would guess if i had to if uh, call of duty really is as you guys know they're allegedly not coming out with the game the next year after modern warfare 2 then I really could see Battlefield gunning for that for that void left by Call of Duty. And that's where we're gonna see the changes, uh, the drastic changes from the new leadership. So it's gonna be a long wait. I know we've like waited a long time for a good Battlefield game. That wait's not going anywhere and who knows what's at the end of the tunnel. Uh, but anyway, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was there were a couple of slides in the prepared slides that will show us what's going on in the future just a little bit. In Q4, there are some games uh, slated to come from EA. A major IP, this, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and throw you out what I speculate these to me. No one really knows what they are. I'm gonna throw out what I think makes sense these are. Um, in Q4, a major IP, which I think could be Skate, and then a partner title, which I think could be Jedi Fallen Order 2 and then uh, a remake which i think this could be the dead space remake and then a sports title that could mean like a return to like college football or something like that so really not a lot of shooters i think for the future a lot of us battlefield fans are going to be looking to indie games like tarkov uh insurgency see what modern warfare 2 has in store also keeping an eye on embark studios and world war 3. it doesn't look like our next exciting shooter is going to be coming from ea that's all I'm going to say there. And then if you look at their global talent, it shows kind of what they have across their portfolio on this slide. The things relating to Battlefield, um, the, the most interesting one, in my opinion, um, you still have Ripple Effect working on uh, Battlefield and Portal, Industrial Toys on mobile. Uh, but if you look at the Seattle area, uh, new studios working on an unannounced open world action adventure game, Battlefield. If you guys didn't know, that is the studio that Marcus Leto, the tr uh, former Halo developer, uh, is working on starting. And it appears to be, this is the first hint we've got that it's going to be an open world action adventure game. I don't know if that means it's going to be um, something like a, like a Far Cry where you just run around and do different missions and stuff like that. Or if it's going to be like Halo where that campaign was a little bit less linear, but that is not going to be a multiplayer title it doesn't look like and in sweden and gothenburg and stockholm are still working on battlefields so essentially that's all the information that i gleaned from the transcripts i'm sorry i didn't get this out to you guys yesterday like i usually do again uh, my excitement for for battlefield is waning just a little bit but uh my my excitement for making videos is not so we're going to keep doing the scope we're going to keep doing the live show and we're going to keep talking about the news and information that you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching i really mean that and we'll see you on the next one Oh, 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 oh,